Manchester is positioned as a world-leading place to do quantum research. Two of our biggest problems, purity and precision control, they affect everything about quantum computing. These materials, when applied to quantum technologies, are set to change our world. And that change starts right here in Manchester. So Manchester has always been at the heart of developing new technologies. We had the Industrial Revolution, which started in Manchester, and then we had the splitting of the atom by Rutherford. The world's first programmable computer was developed in Manchester, and today we're developing the materials that will be at the heart of something called quantum computing. With classic computers, we've reached the point where we're about as small as we can get, for the computational power that we're looking for. So by looking at quantum computers, we can get much smaller and much faster computers that are able to look at much more complex computational problems, and they really are the next generation of computing. So in your computer, we use memory, which has bits stored in it as zeros and ones. In our quantum computer, we're gonna use something called a qubit. Now we can make qubits using particles such as an electron and use its property such as its spin to do that. The challenge we face is that when we encode information in this spin, it only stays there for a short amount of time because it can interact with defects in the surrounding material. Our challenge is to remove those defects and at Manchester, we're doing that in silicon by making ultra pure background materials in which to hold our electrons. We know what kind of atoms we need to use. We know what we need to put them in. So now we are currently looking at how would we do this? Um, and we have a great tool called PNAME, which is looking at can we actually put in the atoms in the desired way that we want to. Much like baking a cake, you need to have lots of different components all to work together to create the end product. So far, we have created very pure silicon, which means that we can get some really long coherence times with the atoms that we're putting in. Having purified silicon to the levels we've reached, it now enables us to study these qubits in this environment in ways which we haven't been able to before. This will really let us understand true quantum properties and how in the future we can engineer them to give us additional enhanced capability. Applications of quantum computing go way beyond cryptography. For example, we might be able to design materials to create future batteries or even design a drug for an individual to treat a particular disease. The potential of quantum computing in the future is endless.